It's great to be here at Superheroes Anonymous. <laughs> Batman, nice to see you here. Wonder Woman, you're looking well. Wonderful. And I just know that uh, I got this tingling feeling that that has Spider-Man is hanging around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, damn. And uh, this morning I stopped two Amtrak trains from a head-on collision. This afternoon, I had to rescue an ocean liner that was going down for the third time off the coast of Baja. I saved 2,000 lives. <laughs> and just a little while ago, and the reason I'm late, <laughs> so Hulk, stop your peeving, <laughs> is I had to use my heat vision to melt the sand race fault and fuse it back together. Other lives would be. Oh, it's a cup. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but the hardest part of my day, by far, is having to dress like this week, Clark Kent. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's important that Clark Kent is, is overlooked. Hey, I practically wrote the book on the superhero secret identities, didn't I? <laughs> All I'm saying. One time, just one time, it'd be so nice if someone noticed me. <laughs> and someone stood up in a cloud and raised his voice up way out loud and waved his arm and shook his leg. You notice him? If someone in the movie show yelled fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder cake, you'd notice him. And even without plucking white on hand, everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless the person of which should be invisible. Inconsequential me. Cellophane, Mr. Cellophane, you should have been my name. Mr. Cellophane, you should have been my No! 